In this video, we will learn how to create EOS user accounts on our local blockchain, how to map them with uh, uh, respective public private key pairs, and how to import them in wallets, uh, then how to get information of any account uh, and transactions history, etc. So let's get started. First, we will unlock our wallet that we want to use and import uh, the account into uh, with the command EOS wallet unlock and wallet name that will, that will ask for a password the wallet is already unlocked ok uh, then we will create a public private key pair um, that we will uh, use for our account so close create key and to console that will generate our key pair on the console file so we will uh, import this key in our wallet so close wallet import and wallet name and uh, then we will uh, mention the private key private key and here is our newly generated private key so the private key is now imported in our wallet 3 uh, let's check it close wallet keys so here is the public key and that is imported in our wallet cool so uh, now uh, let's create the account but before that uh, let's understand uh, how the account is created on EOS blockchain the account on EOS is created uh, by someone else or by uh, by any creator that could be an user uh, so by default uh, uh, we must have one account that will be used to generate our uh, next accounts so uh, but we don't have any account on the local blockchain because we have just started uh, but don't worry for that reason EOS has provided uh, a default account of EOS to generate next accounts so uh, let's import the default account in our wallet and create our next accounts or our desired accounts uh, so we will use the same command clios wallet, wallet import and uh, the wallet name private key but we will just change the private key uh, with the uh, uh, default eos account so here is the eos io key uh, the default eos io key that is provided um, on the EOS platform uh, you can also uh, check it on the website or uh, I will also uh, uh, mention it in the notes or description so let's import it and uh, now uh, there are two keys in our wallet so let's create uh, our first EOS user account now uh, clears create account and then we will mention uh, the creator accounts name that is EOS IO that we have just imported uh, the key of so uh, uh, EOS IO is the creator accounts name and then we will uh, mention the uh, account name that we want to create let's say Bob and uh, after that we will mention uh, the accounts public key that we want to map onto uh, the public key that we have re uh, just generated above that is this one public key 31e so we will use this key uh, here 
and create the account great as you can see our transaction has been executed here's the transaction hash and uh, here are, is, are the transaction details eosio eosio new account and creator is eosio the account created is pop and here are the details that we will see now so as we have created the account now let's uh, uh, check the account details and verify it uh, with the command cleos get account and our account name that is pop so here are the details of our newly created pop account uh, the date created on the permissions as we have discussed before uh, there are two type of default permissions owner and active permissions both have same, uh, same uh, keys by default the memory or RAM quota uh, that is unlimited for just for the local testnet use uh, when we will go to the online testnet of EOS or the main net uh, the quota of uh, uh, RAM, NAT and CPU will not be unlimited. It will be limited and it will be dependent on the amount of EOS we will use to buy it or delegate it. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, we have uh, created our first account, uh, the EOS user account on the local blockchain. And uh, you can create as much uh, accounts as you want on the local blockchain. Uh, with respect to wallets uh, so next we will see the accounts uh, uh, authority and changing the accounts owner and active uh, keys uh, for security reasons and uh, uh, for advanced security so uh, bye